Christmas with me. Christmas was a few days ago, and I saw a lot of couple pictures. So in this video, we'll be getting, you'll be getting ready with me. I will be talking about my favorite Big Brother couple. It's the combination of Big Brother Mozanzi and Big Brother Ninja. I felt like I should just make this video with you guys so I can talk about my favorite Big Brother couple. Now, some of the couples we are going to be talking about in this video are together. Some are broken up. So either way, I thought they were... Well, as usual, I've done my eyebrow off camera, so let's just get right into this video. All I've been doing this Christmas is just drink alcohol. At number 9, we're going to have Nini and Saga. Nina and Saga from Shine Your Eyes season. I know a lot of people do not like them, but I have my reasons for actually loving them. I felt like Saga, I don't know whether it's Saga or Saga, brought out the best in Nini. And Nini is really rude to everybody else, but she wasn't rude to him. And what, the reason why I actually love them is because when before Nini came into the house, Saga was telling all the other guys, don't fought for the girls, when the girls come, we're not going to talk to them, we're not going to do anything. But once Nini came in, he, everybody started calling him a simp because he just started simping for her. Like he didn't care anymore. He wasn't even concerned with all the masculinity, all the housemates were doing. He was just interested in her. And I love that so fucking much. That was like, that's why they're my number nine because I felt like they made a very beautiful couple. They were so cute. He is very beautiful. Saga, compl Saga complimenting her beauty. They just together, they just look like they're so beautiful. And, I still think they are still together to today because they're still cool, they're still with each other, they still show up at events together. They even showed up at this, the premiere of um, Black Panther together in Nigeria. And they look so cute. So uh, their relationship is really, really What I loved about them especially is that Saga is not a man who's like afraid of showing his feelings. He's not concerned about the toxic masculinity that men these days are concerned with. He just liked me and he liked her. He didn't care if people called him a scene, people were bashing him, making fun of him. He just liked who he liked and that was it. He didn't care what every, every other person thought about him. And I like that. And you know me is very rude a lot of times. Like why I didn't like her house because she was a lot of times she was rude. But she's she has never been rude to Saga. She didn't even care. She was always Saga this, Saga this, Saga like that. And people were saying, okay, maybe she had she had a boyfriend outside. That means she wasn't honest, not an honest person. But no. I mean I felt like when you go into a place like this, you guys are in a confined space. Love is bound to happen. And I'm so so happy it happened for me and Saga. They're really beautiful people and they look really cute, cute together so they don't need to start meeting them alone. So they're my number nine. Number eight. Number eight, we have Neo and V. I know they are broken up. See, nobody should tell me that I don't know they are broken up. I know. But they were my faves in the house. The relationship was really beautiful because Neo would do anything for you. Even people were like, oh, can I not believe he's washing her underwear and all of that? And Neo did not give a fuck. Neo was doing this laundry, making food for her. And all of that like he didn't even care that people were saying oh my god how can you be watching a girl's underwear the boy did not care he was like i, I like this baby and i will show that i love it for a worry boy to be showing his feelings like that you must know the girl is what it he went out of the house he threw a very fantastic birthday party with a lot of surprises he bought a lot of things for her and honestly my phone needs to stop beeping he bought a lot of things for her he showed that he loves her and i don't know what caused their beef i don't necessarily think it was cheating or knew or did anything wrong but i think that maybe they outgrew each other or nobody has known to a date what happened. And that's what I like about the relationship. It's so mature that other people are not involved in it. It's only between the two of them. Everybody was calling V bitter, calling her bitter, leave V, all of this, but Neo was still bitter. So, me, they are my number eight. I and mean, I actually like them together. When you see two of them together, like, oh my god. You know, Neo is so handsome. V is very beautiful. Their skin is, their skin is dark. It's like chocolate goodness and all of that. So, they look really, really beautiful together. Nobody can tell me otherwise. They look fantastic together. The seven couple that finally became my favorite couple, even though they started in a very rocky way that really, really did not sit well with my spirit, would be Groovy and Fina. I know, I know. I know how they started. I know how everything went down, though, so please don't even come and be dragging me now. But see, honestly, they have become my favorite couple now that they've left the house. They were my favorite couple before because the way they started irritated the fuck out of me. Because Fina kept pretending that she didn't like Groovy when Beauty was in the house. Pretending to be her friend and now we don't say literally snatched her man because they don't snatch men. Men leave when they want to leave. That my point is when they became my favorite couple is because they've come out of the house and they've proved people wrong. Everybody was saying that once Groovy, when they come out of the house, Groovy is going to dump her. Groovy is going to cheat on her, all of that. But it's been how many months since they left the house and Groovy has not done any of that. 
So they are my favorite couple now because I feel like Ruby has stood beside Fina. You guys know that Nigerians are going to laugh at the woman if he leaves her. It's going to be hard they're going to laugh at her. It's only going to be hard they're going to make fun of her. But from the look of things, Ruby is standing very well behind his girl. He's treating her right. He's making sure Nigeria doesn't laugh at her and make fun of her and him himself. For what for the way he abandoned beauty and moved on immediately. Basically, people can say that Fina did not owe beauty any sort of loyalty and any of that because they weren't friends outside the house. They didn't know each other before the house. She just she saw the man that she liked and she took him because she liked him and she doesn't owe beauty anything. My number six is a little bit controversial. Not even a little bit controversial. It's a lot. It's controversial a lot. Everybody has their own issue, their own beef with this number six now. I'm about to say. Right, no matter what people are saying about their relationship, it's not stopping them from being together. I know the world can be very mean, it can, the world can be very mean. Especially to somebody, the couple they did not like for. I feel like in Nigeria, when they feel like you snatch the man, they will drag you to the kingdom come, like they will drag you to the end of the earth. They really hate this couple. Or a lot of people hated the girl first, worse than they hated the boy. They kept calling the boy a sin, they kept calling the girl a prostitute. It was a lot of wala. So this hope, this number six now, it gets, this number six get wala. I don't even care what people say. It's Ozone. That's Ozo and Nengi. Ozo and Nengi made a fabulous couple. I don't care what you say or how you proceed. They made a really, 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 really great combo. They really liked each other and they made a great combo. Now my problem is, what people are mad at most of the time is that Ozo liked Nengi more than Nengi liked. But that's what happens in most relationships. Because it's not on TV, you don't see the fact that most of the relationships, the man likes the woman more. And if the woman likes the man more, she's going to suffer. That's just how it works. If the woman likes the man more, she's going to really, really suffer. So Ono and Nengi made a, good, a great couple. Even when they came out with her, they stayed friends. You know, until the world now made it impossible for them to hang out together. Now they're hiding to hang out. Sometimes they're posting each other, but they're not even going to see each other. When they go to the same event, they don't even say hi. Because of the dragon that the both of them see. People drag them to the end of the earth every single day. Also, and Nengi is ah, Nengi also is still a fool. Nengi is a prostitute for not accepting also a good man like this. How can she find another man? When they were in the house, they made a great couple. That's all I care about. Now, when they come out of the house, they no longer, they now decided to stop talking to each other because of what the world was saying. And I understand that. Personally, I understand that because the way they dragged also, in, everybody also is a mumu. Nengi is a prostitute. That's why she will never find a man. No. This one, this one, Nigerians were brought out to this one. I don't even blame the fact that they are not even still together. What can they do? Most people, most people actually think that I hate ships. In their mind, I hate ships. Not a ship. I want the girls to be alone. Like ozone ship was a ship that I liked very much, and I was a shipper. Who am I? Like I don't even care what anybody says. It's like these people are very fine, and my dad really liked them. I was watching Big Brother with my dad at that period. He really liked them and he didn't see what the why the world was always constantly dragging the two of them. Because he liked the two of them together. But the world was built out to them. Man. The world was really, really built out to them. I think by number five, I'm not exactly sure. Because, you know, I'm not numbering it in my mind. But it's going to be five is going to be Kathy and Godoni. They were 2019 Big Brother set. If you didn't watch them, I'm sorry. That was a fantastic set. I really, really loved them. When, when the relationship started, everybody was. Everybody hated that shit. They don't say everybody because everybody cannot hate you, but most people hated that shit. Most people, even me, said, when they were in the house, I was like, this boy is using this thing. Like, he had a lot of nasty character. He always acted like he didn't care about her and blah, 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 blah. blah. But why I had to include them at the bottom is because they're married. And they posted this their whole Christmas picture, and it was really cute. I love their wedding picture. Watching them, I feel like they have grown to like each other, and now they are married. So there's no way I cannot be beating people that are married. She, he's obviously good for her, and she likes him like that. So it's not me that will be beating the boy. So I had to put them at number five because they are married, they have a kid together. They don't know what they are doing in each other's life. So I'm not a makeup artist, girl, so you can respond to me and then. Okay, I think I'm almost even done with this sis. Number four is Bam Bam and Teddy A. That relationship was. One of the most difficult things to come out of Big Brother. Because when the relationship started, everybody was calling Teddy A a player. That like he's just going to break Bam Bam's heart and leave her. He's going to dump her. He's going to, he's going to make her cry. 
her that she doesn't know what she's with a common church girl is with a playboy like an alpha male like the A and he was going to show her pepper in this life and because he had a baby mama like ah he's even lying to her look at her they're using four bam bam mama is here serving the A doesn't know that the A has a, a whole relationship outside and he's she's here doing housewife duty but you see Teddy A was a very confident man it's the way he carries himself so it's easy for you to say okay he's being proud he's arrogant he's not even all of that well he actually liked bam bam but the day bam bam left this guy was crying he was bawling his eyes out so when i felt like he was going to pay it but even though he left immediately after he did it probably so mean with that nonsense that he did. people were sure that the relationship would not last and every day every day they would drag bam bam for the thing that for that stuff that she and the did in the toilet I'm not going to say what the stuff is, but you can read the line. <laughs> so every day, everybody, they say pastor doctor that is a prostitute. Pastor doctor that is sleeping with a man in the hotel. Uh-uh. What this put not tell them, um, what this put not tell Bam Bam is what they not exist. They drag this, they drag her, drag her. They said we are getting married though. It's all people to be happy. Everybody says, ah, he's just using her. He just wants to save face because he got her pregnant. I give the wedding two weeks. I give the wedding one month. But see, the wedding it has lasted. They have two children together. They are married. Even we should carry your bandola and rest. So they are number four. Even this, their Christmas picture, picture they posted together with their family. I honestly cannot believe that this came out of Big Brother. Like whenever I see the picture, I'm like, did this come out of Big Brother? Like this relationship that looks so healthy and so put together, did it come out of that? I know it's a very Controversial thing I'm about to see, and I'm sorry to be dirty and prince. I understand what happened, I know how the relationship happened, I know the controversy that happened. I know he was first with Nengi, then he was with Plani Badge. He was left with Plani Badge, then he kissed Lily, that was Dorothy's best friend, and they even had beef. But let me explain to you guys why I say the relationship is a good one. Dorothy and Prince have a similar character. Now, I don't like the two of them. Personally, in the house, I didn't like it for them. Now, coming out, they're, they're doing great, so I don't have a reason to hate. But in the house, I did not like them because they had a similar character. They don't stand for anybody. They, they like to talk safe things behind people's back and all of that. I feel like what made them a compatible couple. They are always looking out for only each other. They do not care about any other person. So that, I, that, I feel like that similar character is that. They don't like to buy, they don't like cities to push front, so nobody will call them the bad guy. But they will carry the beef on and talk about it behind each other's back. That is why. They make a good couple because they are compatible. Now, they left the house. They met, Dorothy met his parents. They even had their shippers buying things for them. Everybody was like, they're doing it because of you. You know what I like about this thing? They had to go through all of this to finally decide to. Call, they are calling, they say their besties now. They're saying their besties. But they're still in each other's life. What I am happy about is that their relationship seems to be growing. It seems to like let go of past beef they had everybody in the house and they decide to be friends or besties or whatever. I like the fact that they discovered this they discovered the relationship outside the house, not in the house. In the house they were still doing smith. Outside the house they decided to be they were keep together, honestly. I told you some of these ships are toxic. People feel like their relationship is just for clout. But when I saw them in the green room, I could see that Dorothy was actually hot my face praise good. It her feelings were hurt by the men in the house. So them apologizing and talking to each other made me realize that their relationship is actually a great one. If they give you time or not try it, it will come out to something beautiful. When I'm watching the story of each other, I could see that there was something there. That is why they are high up on my list because I could see there was there is potential. Okay, we're almost even done with my makeup. We are currently at number, I think this is number two, right? Okay, we are number two. Number two is going to be Gashwan. I found part of the relationship started in a very same way. They started the same way Ruby and Tina stayed at home, except that nobody was disqualified. It was Gashwan and Yuli. And Yuli was sort of kind of status friend. We were kind of friends, sort of. And she was with Gashwan in bed. They were touching and all of that. So we raised their shipping, the two of them. We started shipping Gashwan and Yuli together. And then Yoli was evicted. It became Gashwan and Tatu. When the relationship started, everybody was calling Tatu name, saying, How can your friend do it? You're already with a man. After doing this with the tissues, 
the way he corrected the offense man to drag the hell out of her. They came out of the house. And everybody was like, the relationship will end after the house. Like, Ashwan is just using Tapu. People kept saying the relationship will end when they come out of the house. Like, Ashwan is just using Tapu. Like, what exactly is he doing with Tapu? He's going to go back to you. Blah, 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 blah. blah. But it did not work like that. This poor actually got married. Stayed married. They now have a couple's channel. If you need to watch a couple's channel, you will see the growth. You will see the love in that relationship. I feel like people need to let him go. The relationship might not have started in an ideal way. But people that are saying that she stole that one from Yoli. You cannot steal a man. A man cannot be stolen. A man goes where he wants to go. And he wanted to be with you. You want to be with that thing. And it just happened. And he chose her because he wanted to be with her. And you can't make a man be with you. And Tato has no, no need to apologize because... Tato has nothing to apologize for. She didn't know... She didn't know... Um, she wasn't friends with him outside the house. They just met inside the house. And Gashwan and Tatu are married. They have a couple of channels. You want to watch them very well. Watch that couple channel. It's lovely. Like, you will see the love with the You will see the respect. And Gashwan's family seem to love Tatu a lot. And Tatu's family seem to love Gashwan a lot. But to me, they're my second favorite couple. I love them so much. Number one is going to be Tempo. Yes, I said it. You guys knew what I was going to say. Number one is going to be Kemba and Nicole. Their relationship is the most unorthodox compared to all the other relationships. In fourth is a Sangoma. Kemba is a Christian. People will not expect that relationship to work. They've been through all trials and tribulations. They've been through religious issues. They've been through big mama drama and they're still together. The relationship to come out of Big Brother Mozambique has been the best in the whole, the whole Big Brother franchise because they don't care what fans say, they just love each other. That is why, to me, it's a very great relationship because they don't care what fans say. These people are each other's life because they love each other. They don't care what fans say. They love each other and that is that. So that they are my number one couple because everybody wants them to break up. People do not like Mpo for some reason and they want them to break up. They want this relationship to end. When I post this on my blog, the people that comment must be saying this relationship will not last to break up. But it's still together. They are still together up to now. They even paid Lobola for Mpo. They are married. They are married couple so. I don't see why you guys want the relationship to break up to They are my number one couple. People do not expect this relationship to work out. And that is why I love them so much. I love that they put each other first. But the look of things, Demba is a great father. Mpo is a great mother. If they combine their family together, they can be step, good step parents to their respective children. That's why I like that relationship. And it's my number one. Every day, every time. Tempo is number one. It's just what it is. I wish you'd spend your Christmas with me.